Hello beautiful family, Stephen here. Um, this is my third attempt at doing a video because the, the, the last two videos I did, um, there was something wrong in each of them. I said something wrong, either something that might get me a strike or, you know, so anyway. So it's the 23rd of August in the year 2023. And uh, Jesus Christ is coming. And we're living in the final moments of the end of this age. And uh, my job is, I'm a, I'm a street preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm a street preacher of the way that leads to everlasting life. That if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for you, the Bible says we have all sinned and we all need forgiveness of sin. We all come short of the glory of God. So just be humble, just be honest. And so yes, of course I have sinned. You know, we, most of us have committed sexual immorality. You know, sleeping with somebody when you're not married to them. Whatever. Um, you know, pornography, whatever. Oh, most of us have lied. Well, we've all lied. Uh, I can, I probably most of us, majority of us have stolen. Um, you know, we've all done things. The Bible says he's worthy of death. Uh, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God, which God wants to give you, he wants to give it to everyone, according to his word, is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Right? For everybody that believes, it doesn't matter who you are, what you've done, if you will do that one thing and believe the gospel, you'll be saved. The gospel is that Christ Jesus died on that cross for all our sins, according to the scriptures. Your lifetime of sin it is that God will remove as far as the east is from the west. When you believe this gospel message, the found in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, and uh, Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And you believe that in your heart, call upon Jesus and you will be saved it doesn't matter what you've done it doesn't matter what you're doing or what you've done if you will repent and change from your unbelief and believe the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes when you know that Jesus died for you on that cross that he shed his blood for you on that cross you know it's true in your heart he rose again from the dead you will be saved that's it. That's the only requirement unto salvation, is that you believe, right? And if anybody says, oh, that's not the only requirement, uh, you've, you've got to work out your own salvation, and, and they misquote scriptures, and they add to the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ, which is just believing in your heart. Because the moment you believe, you're justified before the, this great God of the whole world. Look how big he is, he's massive big God who created this great big world where you'll be justified the moment you believe and as soon as you call upon Jesus Christ you'll be saved so simple so anybody who says uh, uh, we are saved by God's grace well hold on this is this is the truth Ephesians 2 8 and 9 for by grace are we saved through faith faith in Jesus and what he did for us on that cross and it's not of ourselves it is the gift of God. It's not of works, not by our own works, lest any man should boast. So if anybody adds anything to that, saying, oh, you must get water baptized or um, you must uh, uh, repent from every sin to maintain your salvation and you must keep up the good works, otherwise you might lose your salvation. They say anything else, then just believe then turn away from them people because they're not teaching correct doctrine because God, God loves his people right he wants all to be saved God, God is uh, his mercy is, is on the wicked and the, right, the righteous you know and he wants all to be saved he's made it so simple he wants all to be saved and all can be saved like the Bible says even if you committed murder of a hundred people and then that person committed all those murders repented and believed that Jesus Christ did that for, 
died for all his sin on the cross and rose again from the dead, that person would be saved because the mercies of God are above the heavens. Right, the heavens are way up there, past that sun, right? And God's mercies are above the heavens. So, so there, so all can be saved. And that's all I want to do is show people, you know, that there's an open door for everybody, no matter, no matter their sexual preference, no matter if they're addicts, no matter if they're prostitutes, no matter if they're extortioners, no matter if they've... Um, I mean, no matter, I mean, it's, it, it is, it's still sin and bad, but I'm saying it doesn't matter concerning their salvation because they can be saved, no matter what they've done. Even if they'd robbed all the people of, of thousands of pounds. I mean, that's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, but they can be saved if they will believe that Jesus died on the cross for them. You know, when they know it's true, Jesus shed his blood for them on on that cross, he shed his blood for all our sin and he rose again from the dead, they will be saved. So, um, I think at this extremely late hour, and really it should always be like this, but ex especially now at this very late hour, that we just show the free love of God, the free spirit of God, and just show everybody that this is the last call into the kingdom of God, and except they repent, uh, they'll perish and and just that there's an open door for ev anybody and everybody, you know. Um, just get them on board the ark of salvation by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's all I care about. Afterwards, if, if they're living a sinful lifestyle, afterwards, Holy Spirit will convict them to righteousness. And another thing is that, um, you know, a lot of people when they become born of God, born again, when they're saved, when they believe the gospel of Jesus, um, not everybody is delivered. Some, some are delivered straight away from their every sin, you know, sinful lifestyle that they're leading. But for others, it might take some time. Um, it might be a bit of a process of, you know, because um, some lifestyle, uh, choices that we make are difficult to break you know F for example um a lesbian woman or a gay man you know they're both married and uh, they both come to the lord um you know and born again they find out that what they're doing is wrong and breaking the law of god you know it might be difficult for them at first to make that decision to you know, split up because they're living in sin. So, you know, or an addict, an alcoholic, it might, it might be difficult. Well, it will be. If, if an alcoholic's drinking 10 bottles of wine a day, it, of course it's going to be difficult for him just to suddenly stop. Yes, God could, can deliver straight away, but it doesn't always happen straight away. That person might have to cut back the drinking. So, you know, because if you stop drinking when you're a chronic alcoholic and you just suddenly stop, hey, you can die from that. Um, I mean, I was an alcoholic when I was on the streets and if I didn't have that first litre of wine in the morning, I, I, I was shaking like this, you know? Um, so, it, you know, they can become ill by suddenly stopping it. Anyway, let me just say a prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, all glory to you, Jesus Christ. Oh, have mercy on us, Lord God. We love you and we bless your holy name. We ask you, I'm asking you, Lord God, that you bless all who are watching. And if there's anybody watching who hasn't believed, I pray they will be, be courageous and bold and take that step of faith and lay hold of their salvation and their eternal security and make sure they're going to heaven, Lord. I pray you bless everybody watching in Jesus' mighty name. Bless them and keep them in perfect love which casts out fear. Make thy glorious, beautiful face shine upon them, Lord Jesus, for your glory's sake. Lord God, lift up the power and beauty of your countenance upon them. Heal them in the name of Jesus. Strengthen their hearts, strengthen their faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, lift up the beauty of, of your countenance upon everyone watching in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, and confirmed to them that we are in the final moments of the end of this age. 
Lord, pour out your revelations, dreams and visions upon all who are watching in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for answering all glory to King Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, family, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of, well, I am. I'm going preaching tomorrow. Um, God willing. I always have to say that, of course. But I, I think the Lord's putting it on my heart to go preaching. Um, I'm not sure if Brother Rob can come with me tomorrow. Um, or Brother Steve, I'm not sure. I actually feel like, you know, sometimes I do like to preach on my own. Um, I might just go to one of the resorts tomorrow. If it's sunny, um, you know, nearby resort, I mean, and just preach there on my own. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'm definitely preaching tomorrow, one way or the other, either on my own or with somebody. Because even on my own, um, y yes, um, I haven't got somebody to give out the gospel tracts and to pray with people, but the word of the Lord is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, cutting into the hearts of people. It ex exposes us what, for what we are. Sinners in need of a saviour. I'm chief sinner, you know. So anyway, I'm not promoting sin by saying that. No, before anybody says. Um, sin can grieve our Holy Father. Yes, we are forgiven our lifetime of sin when we believe. And if, and if that wasn't the case, there wouldn't be anybody in, in heaven, I'll tell you. Because there's, there's sins of uh, commission and sins of omission. Um, sins that we know know that are sin and then we do sins that we don't, we don't even realize you know um that we're not if we're not even get a conviction or recognize that we've done but, but we've broken god's commandment you know um so so what was i saying anyway well just all can be saved and that's all that matters right now is that people get on board the ark of salvation and believe before it's too late before they're left behind, they witness all these people vanish in the rapture and then sudden chaos, anarchy, destruction shall come upon this world and they shall not escape. God shall pour out his wrath and his judgments during the seven year great tribulation apocalypse period immediately after the rapture when Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, um, it's gonna be absolute chaos. Don't be left behind, be one of the ones who are going up to heaven just simply believe the gospel of Jesus Christ in your heart and you'll be saved and taken up to heaven in the rapture. I've got to go before it reaches 13 minutes. I love you all, family. Uh, please keep praying for me. Thank you. I love you all. God bless you. See you in the clouds. Hallelujah.